to unblock streaming apps on our Amazon Fire Stick, it's actually very simple. So to do this, we need to trick our streaming services into thinking we are viewing from another country, and that's where we need a VPN, also known as a virtual private network. So to get a VPN on our Amazon Fire Stick, the first thing we need to do is to make sure we are on the homepage. Once you're here, you want to scroll all the way across to the app drawer on the right, and you want to scroll all the way down to where it says get more apps, and click on that. This will take you to the Amazon Fire Stick application store. From here, we need to search for the VPN. So you want to go to the left to the search tab, and then you want to click on the search bar here. So the VPN I recommend using is called Private Internet Access. So once you search for Private Internet Access, it will be the first result and it will look like this. So you want to go ahead and click into it and it will tell you more about Private Internet Access VPN and what it will do. So you just want to go ahead and install Private Internet Access from here. And once you've done that, you want to go ahead and open up the VPN. So once you've opened the VPN, it will look like this and you'll be greeted to a login screen. So you want to go ahead and click on the login button and you want to go ahead and log into your account. Now, because you're watching this video, I'm going to assume you don't have an account, so you will need to click on the link in the description of this video and it will take you to the website where you can go ahead and register for an account. I recommend you use Private Internet Access VPN as they have hundreds of high speed servers all around the world, which is exactly what you need when you're watching high definition content. What's also great is that they have a no logs policy, which means all of the encrypted data you use through the VPN will not be tracked or stored. So you can rest assured that you are safe and anonymous online. So once you've entered your account information, you want to go ahead and log into your account. So once you are logged in, the VPN application will look like this and it's very easy to use. So all we need to do now is select a VPN server from anywhere around the world. And you want to select a country that you want to view that streaming service in. So for example, if I'm in the UK and I want to watch the US Netflix, I want to select a United States server. So let's do that now. So as you can see, there are multiple VPN servers from the United States. So which one do we pick? Well, you want to pick the one with the lowest number. So the one that I can see, for example, is US Rhode Island at 112 milliseconds. The lower the number, the less latency you get and the better performance you will have. So what you want to do is select the VPN server of your choice. And after a few seconds, it will connect to the VPN. All we need to do now is to exit out of the VPN application and you want to go to your streaming service of choice. In this case, I'm going to load Netflix. So once you're on your streaming service of choice, all we need to do now is to restart the application in order to get it to recognize we are from our VPN country. So for Netflix, all we need to do is go to the left hand side menu and then you want to scroll all the way down and you want to click on the get help link. From here, you'll notice where it says country slash language, it will say GB and that's because I'm currently in Great Britain. However, we connected to our VPN. So to get it to update, we need to scroll all the way down to where it says reload Netflix and click on that. And after a few seconds, your Netflix application will restart and it'll be updated to the new region you selected on your VPN. So just to quickly show you, we can scroll down to the get help menu and where it says country slash language, it now says US because we're on the United States version of Netflix. We can go ahead and start watching movies just as we normally would. And that is how you unblock streaming services on your Amazon Fire Stick. Remember to click on the link in the description to register for your private internet access account. So if this video was helpful, please leave a like and pass on to someone who may find it helpful as well. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can.